folks, it's Josh, Johnny Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Got some stuff going on here today. My gate, my wife called me this morning and said, honey, I can't get out the gate, honey. Mm. So our gate is solar charged and I have a deep cycle battery and I think the deep cycle battery has gone bad. So we've got our multimeter out here. We're gonna test the battery. I had to charge the battery probably about a month ago, which kind of makes me suspect to where the battery may be going dead, but it took a full charge. So I don't know, got a lot of stuff going on. We had a big windstorm and a snowstorm about a week ago, and the new road that we built on the other side of the farm right over here has trees falling down all over it. And that's the problem with these little pine trees, these what we call uh, Virginia pine or a scrub pine around here. They just get a snow load on them and they break and snap and fall and leave a huge mess in the woods and they're not a very desirable tree to have around here anyway. Another thing we're going to do today is we're going to go load up some fence posts. We've got a big pile of fence posts up in the upper area of uh, our farm, kind of our junk storage area, and I've got to start working on making that look a little bit nicer. Every time I ride by it, I'm just not proud of what I got going on up there. So we're going to organize our old fence posts that we cut down and basically they're old cedar trees, cedar fence posts. And we're also gonna go over to a friend's house, a neighbor's house, it's right over the hill here, and we're gonna load up a bunch more. He sold me these posts for a dollar a piece. Awesome, I couldn't turn that down. So guys, come along with me today. We're just gonna run around, get some stuff done here on the farm. It's gonna be 60 degrees, beautiful sunny day. We gotta take advantage of these beautiful, warm, sunny days in December. 60 degrees, can't believe it. Come on with me. Let's figure out what's wrong with this gate. All right? Woo! Well, I kind of knew this date was coming. These Mighty Mule gate fence openers, all the reviews that I read about them said that they really only last two or three years. We're at the three year mark here. Is the fence controller bad or is the battery bad? I sure hope it's not the solar panel. The solar panel seems to look really good. So first of all, my wife couldn't get the gate to open this morning. So first thing we're gonna do is hit the button and see. So if it's taken even the tiniest amount of solar charge into the battery, then the gate should open. Let's give her a try. It's working now. So the gate's working, but it's a little bit on the sluggish side. And these already run a little bit slow anyway. I'm very, very happy with the Mighty Mule. Very, very happy with it. It saved us from having to get out in the wind and the rain and the snow, but I anticipated some problems and I think it's just my battery. So let's pull this deep cycle battery out and check it out. So the way this setup works is there's a, deep cycle battery in this box. Now, normally you would only have just a tiny rechargeable battery, but I thought I'd go the extra mile and throw in a nice big deep cycle battery. We need to disconnect the battery and see if we're getting any voltage off of our wires here, whether we're getting a charge from our trickle charger, our trickle solar charger here. So let's unhook that. All right, so our battery is disconnected. I'll throw, our, I'll throw my voltmeter on here and see what we get. And this would be DC volts, okay? So the battery's putting out eight volts. Not good. Let's see if we're getting a charge here. And I am showing a trickle charge of 0 0.41, 0.40. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if the solar panel's working either. So it could be a failed solar panel causing the battery to not hold a charge. It did hold a charge just fine before. I got some work to figure out here. Let me mess with it a bit. So folks, what I need to do is get underneath the back of the solar panel, and there's some information on here that'll tell me how many volts or millivolts this thing will put out. And you know, we're not in a very ideal situation. This is south, that is north. Um, I've got it kind of facing a little bit southwest, but that was kind of the only way that I could make this work, okay? Um, the trees over here were blocking the sunlight most of the day, and you really want it to face south so that it can pull the maximum amount of sunlight in. Well, it's not doing that. However, this gate worked for a year with no problems whatsoever. So I'm really leaning toward it being a bad battery, but I'll throw the meter on here and see what I can figure out. This is DC volts. It says I'm getting 0 0.08 volts, pretty steady, 0.7. So I'm gonna take this plastic piece 
and I'm going to cover up the solar panel and see if I'm getting any voltage. All right. It's showing point 0.06, whether it's covered up or not. Hmm. Another option I have is I'm going to take this apart and look inside, and there's a little light that stays on when the solar panel is charging. Let's see if that light lights up. So folks, I've got the solution, okay? Here's the issue. It's kind of a pain in the butt to put you in here, but let me show you. Um, if you look right under there, there's a green power light, okay? And this is with the solar panel uncovered, and that's when I cover it. Uncovered, covered. There's also a light there that says charging, and when I hook it up to the battery, it says it's charging. So we got a battery issue. Awesome. I'm glad it's not a solar panel issue. I didn't want to rewire all that. It's pretty simple, though. Let's go get a new battery. Let's go down here and cut these trees. Get them out of the way. So folks, I guess you can see what I've got going on here. These little skinny pine trees that you see in here, they just don't hold up. They just start falling over. Um, they grow so close together that when one falls over, 10 of them fall over, okay? So we had the top break out of one of them and several of them are still leaned over the road here. So I'm slipping on my chainsaw chaps here. You can see that. Throwing on my chainsaw chaps, getting ready to get busy. We'll go ahead and cut these out of the way. Another little farm chore. So folks, we always take safety very seriously here on the farm. I know it seems silly for me to wear a hard hat and a face shield and hearing protection for 10 minutes worth of work here, but guys, it'll save you. It'll save your ears, it'll save your eyes, it'll save your life. So you really gotta pay attention. Put your chaps on, do your due diligence. Don't pull this cord unless these chaps are on and you're protecting your eyes, okay? So I know for all you old school tough guys, it might seem like a kind of wussy thing to do, but working in a trauma intensive care unit, I see a lot of bad stuff. So protect yourself and you only get two of these. <laughs> I will give you one chainsaw tip. Don't buy a saw that's bigger than you can handle, okay? So I believe this saw has a, a 24 inch bar on it. I'm a big boy, I'm 6'5", and it really helps me to not have to bend over having this long bar on here, but don't buy a saw that's too big, something that you can't handle, you'll hurt yourself. Now folks, if I can help it, I don't use pine as firewood, okay? I might use it as firewood for the campfire down here, but I don't use it for normal firewood. I cut this up in lengths big enough to where I could get it out of the road, get my road back open, back and run it. If you guys want an awesome set of gloves, still Timber Sports makes a great glove. Just a great glove. It keeps your hands warm and it has this protective uh, material here. So if the chainsaw hits it, it pulls a fiber out and slows the chainsaw down. So hopefully it doesn't take your whole hand off. Awesome. Let's get these sticks up. Later on, we might take these and put them on the fire down there, but for now, we're just going to throw them out of the way. They'll be on the side of the road so we can easily pick them up. We want to throw a big bonfire. We've got big bonfire logs. Almost like working. Ooh. Got it looking good, and even the dogs appreciate it. Okay, so we got to go to the parts store, test that battery, get a new one if we need it, and we've got to go buy my friend Brian's house and pick up those posts. I don't know if I'll be able to fit all those posts on the back of the truck and I don't know if I'm going to be able to organize all that today either, but at least we'll get them loaded up. Maybe I'll bring you back for an organization day, but I don't know if we're going to have enough daylight. These short days here on the farm just cut you so short of time to get stuff done. Let's go on and get to the parts store. Guys, that tune-up really did this old truck a whole lot of good. It just chugs along now really great. Nice, I could go cruise around in an old farm truck and enjoy this beautiful day. Take you along with me. Say bye bye to the chickens. Well folks, we went and had the battery tested at the auto parts store and guess what? Our deep cycle battery has exceeded its life expectancy. It lasted for about three years, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we have a new uh, Duralast deep cycle battery from AutoZone. We're gonna put that dude in and hopefully have no more gate problems. I'm glad the charging system was working good. 
just a dead battery and they just don't last forever so just part of farming let's put this new battery in got the new battery in good deal seems to be working great it's always something always some little expense here on the farm that just keeps me going nice farm projects let's go get busy let's get the rest of it done Right in here behind me are all the posts that Brian is selling me for a dollar a piece. I guess he just harvested them here on the land that he bought from his grandfather's estate. And the land that we own and we bought, we bought from his grandfather's estate too. His grandfather owned a lot of land here in our county and was a very smart man. So we're going to load these posts up. My back's a little sore and I'm sure this is really going to help it. So let's get busy. Let's throw some posts out of here. Have some fun. Right? I want to kind of lead you into the next video here. Uh, in the next few videos, we bought a Herculiner bed liner kit for this truck because it's rusty and crusty. Check it out. See how rusty and nasty it is? So we're gonna do we're gonna do a self-installed Herculiner bed liner kit in this truck so the truck doesn't rust up any more than it already is. I'm kind of curious, as you may be curious also. Uh, are these homemade, home installed truck bed liner kits okay? Do they work? Will it look nice? I don't know. Come on along in the next few videos and you'll see we're going to put a new bed liner in this truck. And we're also, we've got a fuel tank, a big old fuel tank with a toolbox in it that I bought a long time ago because I knew I'd have a need for fuel. It's a 100 gallon fuel tank, it's made of aluminum, and we're going to put it right here in the bed of this truck too. It takes up a lot of space, but for a truck that I'll only use around the farm, it's absolutely perfect. That's a big old, uh, that's a big old beast. There's a first fall on the DSLR camera. I guess that's what I get. Putting a little boy's camera through some man's work. Some of these are bigger than others. I've been running around this farm just chasing them chickens that are running along me. Yeah. I've been running around this farm just chasing them chickens that are running along me. Yeah. say that farmers are fat well i tell you what no skinny little twerp gonna pick that stuff up okay you gotta have leverage it's right here all leverage wondering why when we moved up here to the country a lot of the country folks are bigger they're just bigger more robust people okay they're just bigger more robust people and you know why because these people work for a living. After you do this stuff all day long, you don't feel like going in the house and making up a dinner, a nice dinner. And you certainly don't want to eat a salad after you do this. You want some meat. You want some taters. I'm 40 years old now, and I really got to start thinking about taking good care of myself. Lifting this heavy stuff and working hard like this, and then eating salad. Ugh. <laughs> cedar logs Whew, my butt's kicked guys I want to thank you a whole lot for joining me here today on the Stony Ridge farm we're off the farm right now loading up some logs and just getting some work done so probably next few days we'll unload these find a good spot here on the farm to store them for now it's getting dark I want to get in the deer stand and do a little bit of hunting so thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge farm Click that like button guys, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and follow us on our farm journey. <sighs> I'm wore out. Thanks a lot. Come on back and see me again. Alright? 20 bucks for all that. That's awesome. Woo! Well come on down to the Stony Ridge, bring your wife and bring your kids who live in life. Pure and sweet, that's the way it's supposed to be Stony Ridge.
Hey little pony. Hey little pony. It's a farm vlog. It's supposed to have ponies. <laughs>